Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And today I wanted to show you how you guys can make a end screen template so you guys can use it for your YouTube videos as an outro. But with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to be showing you how you guys can make a free custom end screen template for YouTube using Pixlr. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to Google and download this little template that I have right here on the screen. Now this template will be very handy when you're making your size dimensions for your logo and other video thumbnails to add to your end screen template when you're on YouTube. Okay, so right now we're in Pixlr editor and the first thing we have to do is just create a new image. After that we just have to set our presets and all we have to do is just select on that and scroll all the way down and just choose movie 1080p and just make sure that our width and our height are right which is 1920 by 1080 and then all we have to do is just make sure that we check the little transparent box. Okay guys so now that we got that all we have to do is just come here to layer and then hit open image as layer and then our folder should appear and now we can pick all the files that we're going to be using to make our outro. Now I'm just going to pre-select all the files that I know I'm going to be using and I suggest that you guys get everything ready and open all the files that you need in order to start editing your outro. Now we'll be providing some links of some of the images that I used but I do suggest that you guys actually make your own custom outro template. Okay guys so I already got all my layers and some of the images that I'm going to be using to make this outro. So the first thing we want to do is just make sure we're on the right layer and I'm just going to put this transparent layer all the bottom. So I have my layer one and I'm just going to hit that little check mark so you can actually see it. So all I have to do is just go to edit, free transform so I can actually make this image a little bit bigger so it can fill the whole canvas. Now I'm just going to hold shift and I'm just going to stretch it out until it fills out the whole canvas. Then once I'm done, I just hit enter. Now making sure that is, we're just going to make a few adjustments and I'm actually going to go to hue and saturation. And I'm just going to change the hue into a color that I actually like. I'm just going to leave it at this blue color and just mess around with the saturations and stuff like that. And this is just going to be a quick tutorial, just giving you an insight what you guys can do and some possible ideas so you guys can make your own outros. Once we're done, we're just going to hit OK. And then we're just going to hit the filter and go to Gaussian Blur. And we're just going to mess around with it until we find a setting that we actually like with it with a good amount of blur. We're just going to hit OK once we're done, once we're satisfied on how it looks. And that's pretty much it for the first layer. Now we're going on to our second layer. We're just going to hit that little check mark so we can actually see it and just do the same thing. Go to edit, free transform, and we're just going to hit shift. We're just going to enlarge this to a good size that how we like it. We're just going to hit enter. And what we're going to do with this one is actually come here to the opacity and we're just going to change the overall mode of it to overlay. We can see that there's some subtle touches and we're just going to hit and just drag the opacity down to a point where it's barely noticeable. And then we're just gonna hit the settings box back. And then we're just gonna go ahead to filter and hit Gaussian blur. And we're just gonna drag it to how we see fit. Once we got that, we just hit okay. And then we're just gonna move on to the next layer. Now this is the template that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And this is gonna be very important because we're actually gonna get the size dimensions that we need our subscribe button in our video playlist at the end of our outro. So what we want to do is go ahead and hit edit and then we're just going to do the free transform once again by holding shift and then stretching it out. Then all we have to do is just hit enter once we get the size that we need. But once we're actually making the size we want to get as close as possible to the actual size canvas. Not too small or not too big but really close to to the actual size. Now with that we hit enter. We just want to go down here to this little button and hit a new layer. Now with this new layer, we want to make sure that our fill color is actually on white. And then we have to go to the drawing tool and hit the ellipse tool. And this is where we're going to make our circle. And then we're just going to stretch it out to make sure to get it at a relative size. Pretty good. Now we can move that right here. And basically it's the same process for our video. And we're just going to make a new layer. Make sure your fill is at white, right, like right there. Go to the rectangle tool and then just literally drag it down to make a rectangle. Now that's basically it. We can go here and hide that template by unchecking the little box. 
and then as you can see we have our rectangle and our little circle shapes that we're going to be using for reference to put our subscribe and videos at the end of our video in our outro so all you have to do is just come to layer 8 or whatever layer you have your rectangle at right click and we're just going to select on duplicate layer and as you can see we made a whole new copy of the same rectangle that we just made a few moments ago and i'm just going to edit it here so it's perfectly aligned and even with the rest of our shapes now it's not going to be perfectly i'm just going to make some rough estimation just so the video isn't that long but you guys can take your time and measure everything so now that that's ready, we're just going to uncheck this little graphic that I have right here. Now I'm not sure where I got this graphic, but if I do find it, I'll leave a link down in the description. And I'm basically just going to free transform it and change the opacity on it, just so it adds some little hints and diverse action into our outro. Now what we want to do is just come here and go to make a new layer and use our text tool because this is where we're going to put our text. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to put EJ Tech just because of the video but you guys obviously will put your own channel name and you guys can actually mess around with the fonts that you guys have now the fonts i do have right now it's arrow and i got that from defont.com and i'll have a link in the description so you guys can use that website so you guys can get your own fonts and let me know if i should make a video on how you guys can get your own custom font now what we're gonna do is make another layer and we're just gonna type in subscribe and then we're just gonna mess with the fonts and the size of it real quick and we're just going to put it underneath our logo or where our logo would be. And if you guys want to adjust it, all you have to do is just make sure you're in the right layer and just click on where you left off like I did here on subscribe. And we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. Now we're going to make another layer and use the text tool. And I'm just going to put a little message like thanks for watching, you know, showing your appreciation to the viewers who took their time in watching your content and then just place it wherever you guys want to. Now with our rectangles, I'm just checking which one is which, and I'm actually going to merge down just so we can have more room. And all you have to do is hit merge down, and then the two layers were merged into one. And as you can see, both of the rectangles are now one layer. Now what I'm going to do is come here to the properties, and we're just going to add a little drop shadow to it. And then we're just going to mess around with the opacity, distance, and size, however you guys want to have it for your own outro. We're just going to hit OK with that once we're done. And we're going to do the same thing for our logo, placement, and the rest of our text. But now that we have our finishing touches, you guys can actually just adjust anything that has to be adjusted. Now I did this pretty fast and I'm not expecting everything to be straight, but just to give you an idea of how you guys can make your own outros. But once we're done, all we have to do in order to save our files, all we have to do is just come up here to the left and hit file and save. Now this little box will show up and the first thing we have to do is actually name this file and I'm just going to name it our outro. Now the next thing is choosing our format. I basically choose JPEG or PNG because they're basically almost the same since we're just using an outro. But for now I'm just going to use JPEG and I'm just going to put it at the highest quality possible. Now once that is ready all we have to do is hit OK and our image will be saved once it's done processing. Now this little window should pop up in order to save it to our computer. Make sure you have the right name for it and just hit save and that is basically it. Now, as you can see the image is saved and that is basically the process at least to give you an idea of how you guys can make your own custom outro. Okay guys, so the next step is actually adding your outro into your video. So right now I have Sony Vegas pulled up and this is right now the video editor that I'm using. Now if you guys have a different video editor, don't worry, it's basically the same process. We're not doing anything special here, we're just adding it at the end of the video. So right now I have this little edit with a simple intro and just gameplay in the background. And all I want to do is just drag in my intro after I import it into the video editor. And all I'm going to do is just drag it into the timeline and just put it wherever I want to. Now I did make some few changes to the outro but not very significant ones. Just messed around with some of the color grading and positioning of the shapes but I didn't really change that much. So I'm just doing some basic editing right now, making sure everything flows smoothly with the transition I added, and there we go. But yeah, that's basically how the video is going to be. So all I'm going to do is just select the whole timeline, and I'm just going to get ready to render it and upload the video onto YouTube so I can show you guys how to add your end screen. 
Okay guys, so right now I just finished uploading the video in private so you guys can actually see it. And we're in the YouTube studio right now. So all I have to do right now is just go to where it says end screen here on the top in the tabs. And this page should load up with our video and the end screen template that we have right now. And as you can see, the end screen template is actually right there and it looks pretty nice. So all we have to do is just add our elements, which is going to be our logo subscribe button and the videos that we want to implement so our viewer can watch next. So all you have to do is go to add an element and then just create the subscribe button. Now you want to make sure that you adjust it to see how it fits with your outro. But you also want to make sure that it's timed perfectly in the video so that it appears just in time when your outro appears at the same time. Now moving on to our videos, all we have to do is basically go to add element again and create our video or playlist. So right now I'm just going to put what's best for viewer and just create the element and as you can see the box appeared and it actually fits perfectly in the box that we made. So all we have to do is go again, create video or playlist and I'm just going to put most recent upload and create element. And the same thing goes, all we have to do is drag it to the box and just adjust it to see how it fits best. And as you can see, you got to go back and forth to see when the outro actually starts and when it actually ends. So you can adjust the timing on these elements that you have created, which will be your subscribe and video icons that you just placed. And as you can see, it ends almost right there. So I'm just going to back it up a little bit. And it's basically a lot of tedious work that you guys have to just get used to so you can get it just right. So what we can do actually just to watch it is we can hit the little preview button on top so we can actually see how the icons will appear. And that's basically it. All you have to do is just make the tedious work and just adjust it to your personal preference. Just timing it right when it starts and when it ends. But that's pretty much it. But once we're done with that, all we have to do is just go to the save button and just click on it. And all our work would be saved and the outro would be completed. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to make a custom end screen for free using Pixlr. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing because I do make more tutorial videos like these. And I do suggest that you guys watch my next videos on how to get free gameplay footage and get free background music to add to your YouTube videos. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one.